What's up everybody, this is Cheese Mr. Poof and welcome you back to Hot Side Friday, a weekly dosage of hot stone content on the Cheese Mr. Poof channel and welcome back, it's good to be back. And uh, let's just check out the deck that we will be playing today. So we're continuing with the budget theme because I feel like that's something for me to contribute to the community, I guess, because you've already seen every top tier deck. You've probably seen all of them, different versions of them, each taking in something different. I'm just going to bring you something that you can build on a budget if you're not ready to spend a lot of money <laughs> in this game. So yeah, the deck we will be looking at today is the Budget Tempo Mage. And uh, let me just say that Tempo, Tempo Mage is one of my all-time favorite archetypes. Love playing it, it feels very nice to play. So let's just get that out of the way, and let's see what new cards we're playing in this deck. We're actually running a little bit of a secret sub-theme in this deck. Well, I don't know if it counts as a sub-theme because there's so many cards in it, but anyway... Running the likes of Cabal Lackey, only one off, because... I really don't like two copies of this card in the deck. But when you get this turn one and a secret in your hand, it's actually going to be pretty good. We're running... Double Explosive Runes. Now this is a new card from the Kobolds and Catacombs set, and I think it's actually pretty good. Act to your opponent plays a minion, deal 6 damage to it, and any access to their hero. So, just drop this on turn 3. Let's see, let's see the best case scenario. They drop something that has only 1 health. You're dealing 5 damage to their face, and destroying the minion they just played. Value. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely like explosive runes. Because it's not only removal, but it's also face damage. And when we're trying to get the tempo, that's what we're looking for. We're going to destroy their creatures and deal damage while we're doing it. So that's pretty good. Also, Kirin Tormage into Explosive Runes is pretty good for us. Especially if they don't have anything on board to deal with the Kirin Tormage. Then they play a minion to contest it, but it gets killed. And we can get to... We just add on with the damage. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, Explosive Runes is it the only Cobbles and Cargums cards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Explosive Runes is the only new card we're running, but we are running some stuff from Knights of the Frozen Throne, like Cobalt Skillbane, which is just if you're on a budget, this is your best friend. Like five mana five five is already decent. It's getting weaker a little bit because it has the subtype of Dragon, and there is a new card that only costs 3 mana, that lets you deal 6 damage to a dragon. So it is susceptible to that removal, but at least I haven't seen that many people play that card, so you might be just safe. So yeah, our late game sweep is pretty sweet. We have Cobalt Scale Banes, Faceless Summoners, again, common, common, basic. As you can see, we're only running rares, commons, and the classic basic set. <laughs> And Cobble Crystal Runner will come out usually on turn 4, if you're playing your cards right. And you can even get this guy earlier on with some cabal like shenanigans. So yeah, and Firelands Portal. Now you might be saying, hey, it's a Corazon card, but everyone gets this card for free. Because the first uh, mission of Corazon, you get Firelands Portal and the 1-2-2 Crow for Druid. So yeah, this is also just one of the better cards. They have printed some less playable 5 cost minions, so it's getting a little bit of a sub nerf there. But I feel like this particular build will do quite fine. Uh, if you would like to replace Arcanologists in this deck for something more aggressive, you can just go for a Cold Sorcerer. I mean, if you have Karazhan, I definitely think you should put in the Medivh's Valet. Pyros is a very good card because you keep getting value out of it. Shimmering Tempest is a fine addition if you want some more value in your hand. Also has that random clause. But yeah, uh, those are the recommendations I have. You can also just add Cthune in here. Then put in Beckoners, all the other cheap Cthune stuff. Because Cthune is also free for everyone. So yeah, this is the build. Let's just see how it does in the rank ladder. Okay. We have our first opponent, and the deck list seems to be working. It's always nice for the deck list to work, by the way. 
I don't know how I feel about this. I could keep this in hopes of a lackey. This is just pretty good to have. Uh, just toss water elementals, see if we get anything good. Two drop. Couldn't have asked for a better mulligan. Happy feasting, challenger. Ah, feasting. Happy feast of winter vale. No point in playing this on turn one. If this is a pirate version, they probably try to run out patches and stuff like that pretty early. Okay, we have both mirror entities now, so value town, here we come. Oh, jades. That's actually quite interesting. Ah, this is the value. When you can play a 4-3 and a secret... I just played 6 mana worth of stuff, so... We're doing pretty well. And if you play anything big, it's gonna be good for us. Uh, that's probably Jade Spirit, right? Yep. Well, that's not particularly exciting to get from a mirror entity, but sure, I'll take it. Okay. Oh, Cabal Lackey. This is also pretty great. So now we can just play this for free. Play one of these. Now I could risk it and play another one. But I'm choosing to go with this, this, and this. This is also an elemental. Which is useful, I guess. But we don't have any synergy with elementals, really. Okay, we have a mirror entity on the field. Our board is way bigger than the rogues right now, so... I'm feeling pretty good about our chances in this particular match. Also, I do love this stage. But they were, we're drawing the, the nuts. Do we get a 4-4? Four -four? Yes, we do. Yep. I figured as much. That was... That was pretty heavy on my side of the board there. Okay. I have another man. Now in the first game we kind of rolled. Felt pretty good. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's keep that. Get those secrets. Uh, not what I want to see, but if we top deck a secret, that would be fine. Happy feasting, challenger. So yeah, Tempo Mage can really just snowball out of control if you let it. I mean, that's usually the case with all the decks, but... Tempo Mage especially is kind of snowbally. Uh, Mana Worm. I guess we could add some damage here, but feels like not much value. Let's just see if he does anything about it. Oh, Glimmer Root. Don't hit it, I guess? I don't. Oh, he didn't hit it? Nice. Okay, so this is a good turn. <laughs> Uh, I think we should first play RK Missiles, right? Okay, we didn't hit it. Well, we still have the coin. So now we're at 3-3. Three, three. We Here in Tor. Explosive runes. Now he gets a formidable, formidable trade with either one, but then again, the first minion he plays will get wrecked. We're gonna play a 5-5 five, five next turn. Ah, that's not particularly exciting for us, but hey, we get to deal 5 damage to the face. Thank you. I really enjoy explosive rules. Okay. Also, this is a 4 attack minion, and we know that the priest does not currently have a tool to deal with the 4 attack things. They can deal with 2, I mean 3 or less, or 5 or more. Silence there didn't help, but yeah, I guess he just needed that minion. 
Uh, we're just playing Cobalt. And now we're dodging Dragonfire Potion, which is pretty good. Well, now it's susceptible to removal, but we need that damage push. Next turn is Faceless Summoner, which is also going to be pretty good. Ah. Heals. Heals galore. Okay, now what good can we roll from Faceless here? I don't know. Okay, so an alternative would be to ping this and then hit it with this. But I'm going for the summoner. What is real? I mean, I guess. Uh, I think this is safe. He can't undo in yet. We got Firelands next turn. He needs to kill everything. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Okay, it's not gonna hurt. I feel like it's still gonna hurt. <laughs> oh yeah, Spirit Lash. That does gain him some health. Some health. 24. But we still have all the minions. He can kill one. Probably kills a dragon, because it keeps getting me value. No? Yeah. You kill the dragon in that situation. Okay, we still get to deal a lot of damage to the face. And I feel like this might be better. Uh, I should probably save this for the Anduin or Dragonfire. So I should probably fire Lance face. Because I have two fire Lance portals, so it's fine. Think again. Think again, friend. That's a booby bay bodyguard. Fair enough. If you end doing, you get five armor and you kill everything, so yeah, you're no longer dead to a fire lance. Yep. But we can still come back to the board with the faceless archaeologist. Yep. Here we go. Okay, Firelands. I mean, <laughs> Dragonfire Potion kills us here. Well, not kills us, but kills the board. Is he looking for the board clear, or does he just have it? Yep, he had it. Well, we gotta keep him on the ropes here, so Firelands to the face. Something. That's a pretty good 5 drop. So next turn we just play out all the secrets. I mean this is pretty good if we play something with a little toughness. Wow we got Arcane Artificer. It's 6 armor. Wow that is a br pretty big swing in his favor. Okay, we just have to play out what we got. We need to kill this, otherwise he's just gonna keep getting armor. He's gonna have a card draw engine here, though. Hopefully he plays something big. Yep, there goes the 2-2. Raza is pretty good. It's gonna get bombed by the runes. Okay, that was kind of a plus-minus situation. So we need our card draw. <laughs> okay, that does nothing against us, so that's fine. Okay, he can probably just kill Kirin Tormage. Uh, I wonder what healing this deck has. I could just start bombarding the face. 
I mean, we do have a counter spell. So we have two fireballs in the deck still, and one frost build. Interesting. We could go for it. We have many secrets. I mean, now if we top deck fireball and he can't heal. We win the game, but we have to either top deck an arcane intellect or a fireball. The chances are okay. Okay, let's not heal, that's good. He does get to kill that. Frostbolt getting closer. Down to two, can you heal? Or kill me now, that could also be a thing. Yep, I take that. Not all Prophet Valen. Okay, we take four. That's counterspell. We take another four. And, yep. We got wrecked by that. I mean, we had a chance. But Prophet Valen is just crazy in Raza Priest. Crazy, I tell ya. Okay. So we've had a crazy snowball match. And we also had a pretty clutch match against a Raza Priest. Which did not end in our favor. But we had a pretty good chance of beating that. So yeah, uh, that's going out. Okay, if I throw this out and draw a secret, this will be pretty good. That's not a secret, but we can still draw a secret. Ah yes, that's what I'm talking about. Uh... I would have preferred an explosive runes, probably. But this is okay as well. Let's just keep playing threats. Okay, Jade Claws. Not what I like to see, but hey, sure. Intellect, however, is pretty nice. We do get to hit face. Now the bad thing about this is he can just kill the mana worm right now. But he does take two to the face and we get to play 5-5. Five five. And he still hasn't popped our mirror entity which is pretty good. Because later it goes with the entity, the more value we will eventually get. Also look at this curve, next turn cobalt, then we go faceless. Hmm. Deja vu. I've been in this place before. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, Cobalt. Do we just clear the whole board? I guess that's the better play. Volcano is pretty good right about now. But we can come back with Faceless. What is he playing? Oh, Fire Land. That's pretty good too. Explosive runes. Like this, like this, and this. I'm just gonna have him deal with this. Oh, and the buff goes here, that's perfect. Jade Lightning. Fair enough. A what? So that's what you go for, huh? No friend. Um, Fireland <laughs> seems like the play here. Tar Lurker is actually pretty good. So yeah, when we get the curve. 
this deck just dominates. I mean, even Volcano doesn't clear the board. Okay, now it does. Sure. Now the question is, do we go Cobalt and Runes, or do we go Cobalt and Counterspell? I'm gonna go for the runes. It's a shame it doesn't get any value. Ah, well, runes just flat out kills that. Just towed him up. Getting dangerously close to killing you here. That sucks. Okay. Let's draw well. Kind of like explosive runes here. And this. Now if he plays another volcano. That does kind of screw me over. That is really good. Because we get to deal 5 damage to the base. Wait, that doubles. That's... Fine, because we have lethal here. Well played. I love this deck. Can I just say that? We have such good tempo tools, and we can even come back from a board clear. So we're done with the matches. The deck performed quite well. The only problem we had was Raza Priest, but then again, we were also pretty close at beating the Raza Priest. I mean, we only needed to top deck that final Fireball or Frostbolt damage really but then that Valen came out and just wrecked us so yeah uh, don't get me wrong Raza Priest is a crazy powerful deck so the fact that we almost beat it shows something for the tempo deck right here the budget tempo deck so yeah uh, would I change anything in here when I see the deck there's not a thing that I would change probably but if you're willing to spend money, you can get some ups, can get some upgrades in here. Especially if you're just building towards playing this particular deck. I'd probably recommend crafting Pyros. Taking it somewhere in 2-drop slot here. There are other good cards. I wish Ancano was a card in this game. Uh, I mean, Antonidas really doesn't fit in here. Honestly, I don't think you need much. I mean, you could craft one copy of Pyroblast and put it in here just for that last bit of burst. You could. I'm not saying you have to, but yeah, this is something you could, could put in if you want to start upgrading the deck. But in its current form, it actually performs really well. I did not expect this deck to perform this well in Rank Ladder, so yeah. This was another budget deck for Hatsa Friday. I'm your host, Jason Spoof, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more card game content like this, and yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next one.